Hey guys, we're back and we're doing more fairly off now in Shadow Showdown. Now, sorry I didn't finish this in no Oh, look, the bridge is out to the last level. I guess we fell off of it, we would die. Yeah, but they don't open the door until, you know, you've done all the, the previous levels. And you need all the ingredients for the magic muffin. And we're going to go into that right now. You've heard about the fairy anniversary muffin, and now we're going to give go to Jordan and ask him about the fairy anniversary muffin. Okay, let's and, go do that. And now, cut scene. Now the recipe, Jordan. Okay. I'm not impressed. Go, oh, the tiny, tiny, tiny oh, turner. Should. Take the recipe, collect the ingredients, and make a magic muffin. Only oven baked treats can save TV. <laughs> Only oven baked treats can destroy TV too. <laughs> Why did I just say that? That looks delicious. Pixie sugar, moon cap, milk, a phoenix egg, and super strong hair raising flour? Where are we going to get ingredients like that? There's only one place I can think of. Internet. Yeah, because the internet has everything. You know, they can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. From the only store that had them. And there's only one of each in the store. Where did you hear that? Uh, the internet. And think. Actually, there's some. Shh. You can't I love this part. Didn't do it this time. 
I know you were hoping for that cliche, but the butler didn't do it this time, okay? Yeah, but so stop thinking, oh my gosh, I'm sure the butler did it. Uh, I don't think Tate's, oh, Oberon and Titan even have a butler. So let's start. Cutscene. The butler didn't do it. Yeah. Still, my latest invention can do all that strenuous TV stuff. Yes, it can. Robot, channel 15, I guess it can. I guess it actually did work. Just too lazy to even use the remote. And now it broke. Me, and this broke out to break you. You're sleeping. Shh. <laughs> Is that Wait, funny? Wait, did we skip a scene? Yes. The oh, fish never mind. The sugar muffin ingredient must be in that fuel tank on Dad's robot's back. What? It is? Let's get it. Huh? Get back here! Enough, you will die! I always love your damn dumb invention. I bet you know how to get the sugar Wake him up! And he kicked his foot. Nope. The magic TV signal must be making him sleep. How do I wake him up? The easy way! We'll take you into his dream. You can wake him up from the inside. Th that's Great plan, cutie! And that's where we're going. We don't to see him. him. We don't see him until the end of the dream. Which is weird, because in real life, the only part of a dream that really exists is the part that you're in. If you leave a part of your dream, if you leave a section of the world you're dreaming in, that section no longer exists. It only exists while you're in that section. Oh God. This what my dad dreams about? Yes. It's pretty weird, Timmy. But dreams tend to be weird. Wow, well, that's pretty... Sorry. Pretty weird. He's dreaming about a giant robot? Just what does that mean? It means he likes giant robots. I mean, who doesn't? I know. Just... Just concentrate on the job at hand, boys. Waking your dad up, Timmy. And how do we do that? Okay, stop it for a second. We need to shock him away. Stop it, stop it for a second. Okay, you know, dreams are really weird. Just last night, I had a dream I was a dinosaur, and and I was being tra chased by a T-Rex. And I was in this herd of dinosaurs, and they, they couldn't talk or anything, but there was all this weird stuff. You know, there was no humans or cars or anything, no obvious signs that there were people, but I did see tire tracks. Um, you know what? So, you, you... You leave it to yourself to ponder on that. You can go ahead and go. Um, actually, I want to say something that is kind of related to what you said. Um, the weirdest dream I've ever had is when um, a planet called the Venus flytrap and multi, most of them, like Venus flytraps, were taking over the world. And I ha and then um, I was running away from them uh, through my grandmother's house with Jimmy, Carl, and Jean from, the, from Jimmy Neutron. Oh, and by the way, don't sue us for that. But that wasn't the weirdest dream I had. The weirdest dream I had is when a jack-in-the-box with a chainsaw <laughs> tried to kill me. <laughs> that, is that, is, that is weird. That, that would be the weirdest dream I've ever had, too. Yes, no. Wrecking his dream. Destroy that robot? Sure, it's not real. He can dream it again if he wants. Okay. okay. Let's whip up some wishes and break Dad free of that strange TV magic. <laughs> No Look at a crown coin and shed it. Yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish. That reminds me, how many crown coins do we have? Fifty? Okay, so there's three hundred in dead stream, so I'll have three hundred and fifty to get the um, crown sensor. That's a good start. That's a horrible pun. Now don't do it again. Sticky lizard. Bad stream of consciousness. Stop making references Jeez. in this game. We have to get down the river to reach the robot. But this quote doesn't look very seaworthy. It's as if your dad's subconscious is conflicted as to whether it helps us wake him or not. Yeah, he made us a boat, but out of weird stuff. Maybe he wants to be awake. Boat more boat -like? Sure, Timmy, this is a dream. We simply need to stimulate the parts of your dad's brain that want to wake up. Yeah, but she said, well, I know brain surgery, but if you think it'll work, I'll give it a try. Yeah. All nine stars will be in this area. If you were wondering that. Oh, look, crowns. Yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish. Oh, crown coins. Yay. Hey, before you get the last star, 
Show him what happens if you get eaten by a... Uh, show him what happens if you go too close to the suit. Okay. Now, if what it's not going to let you pass. It's going to eat you. And spitting and it'll spit you out. What the high pitch? What is that high pitch noise? I don't know. Oh wait. So let's... you have to find the first wish you have allows you to get past that. Oh wait, I just remembered where it came from. My pro my parents are probably watching late the late night show with Kirk Ferguson. And the place is from my I can't Shh. believe. Wait, did I just record that? I did. Shh. Wait. Suit. Did I get that? It will get try. It will get destroyed twice as fast. Please yeah, stop it'll, it. It'll only do that if you have. It'll only do that if you have two moths. Uh, no. If you have more than two moths, if you have less than two moths, it'll it will say something different. Oh, more crown coins. <laughs> First, she need no wish. Leave that moth there. She is like, your moth will like this like better than yours. So let's switch. Ah, a, in the future, you'll get a weapon that is that can destroy that. Oh, okay, another suit. Let's ignore and get the, the moth. Sorry. Um, in case you're wondering, that C thing that is not. Uh, I'm just telling you, it's not the clock the boy should wonder. That's a, that's a reference from another level. Where is that high pitched ringing coming from? I think it's a malfunction. Hey, wait, you missed a crown coin. Two. Hey, wait, don't you need a. Uh... Hey, look. Look, a crown coin. I'm well, trying to stop that. Um, you know, if I hear that hyper tree meeting on one more time, I... <sighs> Man, that's getting annoying. Um, if it's... If, if that has... Oh, that frog will eat your mouths. Um, if that... If that hyper training um, annoys you, you can, you can skip through this. Basically, shout out to his puzzles and... So much puzzles and stuff. Like, do you see that frog? If you get too close to it, it will eat your moth. If you have one. That light bulb will, uh. You probably see it. But I don't know why it would like that light more better than ours. Because our light is more lighty than that. Did I really just say that out loud? Yes, you did. And you sounded like a doofus. <laughs> Now your moth is, uh, there, uh, there's danger area. Now you have an area where your light exists. You have an area where your light exists, and if that light overlaps with the other light, it'll play, it will kill the moth. It, the moth likes that light better than yours, basically. And I don't know why I would like that light. Hey, where did it go? It's still there. No, 
annoying me. Okay, we're You should have just ignored it and then it would be over with. You should have just ignored the fact that the suit didn't get affected and went on. But no! You're mean. Guys, this type of training, it's really hurting my ears. I'm, I'm going to start off the video right now and I'm going to find... Ah, uh, you're telling me I have a headache and I didn't, and I had it before this video started. Never mind. I'm going to stop it. Find what's making that noise and I'm going to stop it. Okay. Bye.